This video is brought to you by the Tencom Store, now shipping grapple snake strings directly to Canadians. So this summer, you want to dominate your opponents with massive spin. Well, I got you covered because in today's video, we're going to go through some of the absolute best strings for spin in 2024. So today's video is going to be more than just a boring top five list. We're gonna talk about the intersection of spin and other playing characteristics to help you find the best string for your game. The categories are spin and power, spin and control, spin and comfort, spin and feel, and finally, ultimate spin. I'm also gonna give you at least three options in each category because I know many of us are going to have more limited string selections depending on where you live. I'm also going to include a small pairing list of rackets that I think would play nicely with a given string. So first up we have spin and power. Here I wanna talk about strings that will give you both massive spin and easy access to depth. These options are going to be generally more forgiving, which is especially useful if you sometimes struggle with accessing high swing speeds on every single shot. So first up we're going with a classic, and that's Solinko Hyper G Soft. Hyper G Soft brings a lot of the classic playing characteristics we all love from normal Hyper G, but in a much more user-friendly package. I found very easy access to depth with this string, which helped me a lot on defense when pulling out balls from the corners. The launch angle is also on the higher side for a lot of other polys, which makes it really easy to clear the net, and the shaped profile of the string is going to give you quite a bit more spin than your normal round poly. The downside though with Hyper G Soft is that tension maintenance. After my first hit, I noticed a significant drop in tension, and that drop is going to increase your power, so maybe it's good for this category, but for some users, control is going to become an issue. So what's the solution here? Well, my absolute favorite string for spin and power, without a shadow of a doubt, is Restring Zero. Not only is this the most durable option we're going to talk about today, but in my experience, it's also the most spin-friendly. I notice when I play opponents who are using a zero, their incoming balls kick up on me like 10 to 20% more than usual because of how easy the snapback is. This snapback comes from the lubrication that's infused into the string, which really keeps it performing at its best for much longer than your typical poly. Combine that with A plus tension maintenance, and you're going to be saving a lot of money by stringing less frequently than less durable options like Hyper G Soft. Last option for spin and power is going to be Y Tech Square X Sharp. I know I've made fun of this this string in the past, but I think it's still a pretty good option and offers a pretty unique value proposition. So while Zero gets its spin from maximum snapback, Square X Sharp gets its spin through maximum ball bite. The edges of the string are some of the sharpest I've ever encountered, which gives you this insane grip on the ball. It's a really unique feeling that I think is a must try for anyone if you just wanna have fun with your activities. So these sharp edges do mean that the launch angle is going to be like way higher than almost any other polyester, much higher even than like Hyper G Soft, but that also means that depth comes super easily. So if you kind of struggle dropping balls short, I think Square X Sharp can be a really nice option. So for these selections, I wanna suggest strings that offer a strong combination of both snapback and ball bite that spin, but still offer a really consistent response so you feel comfortable just ripping the felt off the ball on every single shot. These strings offer easy access to spin with excellent predictability and are geared more towards those advanced users. Oh my, sorry if my eyes are looking puffy there. I'm like so allergic right now. These strings offer really easy access to spin, excellent predictability, and will be geared more towards those advanced players who are gonna provide a lot of their own swing speeds. I think Slinko Confidential is the classic for this, the hitting feel. It's not really too muted, it's not too responsive either. I would describe it as like really solid feeling, and it plays pretty well in like every single racket I've ever tried it in, but I do think it has a little bit of special magic with these Yonex rackets. The launch angle is going to be on the higher side, specifically for control-oriented string, but still, even though it's high, it's really consistent from all areas of the court. Confidential also really brings excellent tension maintenance and playability duration, so you can play better for long. But the downside with Confidential for some users is that it can be a bit stiff. And yeah, the stiffness is a big part of where that control and durability comes from. But if you want something a little bit more 
comfortable that still delivers on consistency, control, and durability, I'm a big fan of Toraline Wasabi. The hitting feel is more muted, and that's gonna be a common theme with a lot of Toraline strings, but also pretty much any super slippery high snapback string in general. And while Wasabi does come in officially at a 1.23 millimeter or 17 gauge, that square profile means it plays a lot thicker, more like a 16 gauge string. This means that Wasabi brings all the benefits of a thick string to the table, including great durability, great tension maintenance, and a more consistent launch angle. But on the other hand, if you prefer that feeling of huge ball bite, I've got a few other options. One is Slinko Tour Bite Diamond Rough, which is gonna have a pretty low launch angle considering how huge the bite is, but it's just not the most comfortable option. So most strings that have a lot of ball bite do tend to launch the ball because the surface of the string bed becomes uneven with all those pointy sides. But in my experience, rough strings keep that ball down pretty well while still giving you a ton of grip on the ball, which I think feels quite a bit more predictable. It's got that classic tour bite feel with the stiffer, more responsive, kind of alu-esque hitting experience. If I have one complaint with this string though, it's that there's so much friction in the setup that it can be pretty hard to generate snapback, especially after the strings have started to launch. I personally think that Grapple Snake Game Changer is a little bit of a better option. Comes in two colors, green and silver. Green is a little more hyper -G like it's a little tiny bit more muted, a tiny bit more plasticky. And then the silver color, which actually has a different chemical composition, is gonna be crisper, maybe a little more lively, kind of more of that alu tour bike kind of feel. Again, the edges are super sharp, much like square edge sharp, but for whatever reason, they've worked some magic. The launch angle to me was way more consistent with this string spin and comfort. I personally think that Hyper G Soft has always been the benchmark for spin and comfort. It felt like the first string that was like a serious alternative for people transitioning from nylon to polyester who were looking for more spin but still wanted comfort and forgiveness. The thing is, I think Toraline just has this on lock. They're doing it better and bigger than Slinko has. And I've got the numbers to back it up. So about half of Toraline's options are lab tested by Sergetti to be softer than Hyper G Soft. And I can tell you for sure that they're more slick offering better snapback. Of those softer options, Toro Toro is definitely my favorite. It's got a six sided profile, so the launch angle is pretty consistent. I find like four, it can be a bit questionable depending on the profile, but as you get more sides, the better control you typically get. For me, the feel with Toro Toro is slightly crisper compared to a lot of the other Toro line options, but on the whole, Toraline is gonna offer some strings that are definitely more muted. And that really helps with comfort. I think you get a lot fewer vibrations transmitted through the frame. So it does feel more muted, which might make you feel disconnected, but I think they're still quite a bit more comfortable because of that muted feel. And bonus option, I'm also a really big fan of the experimental hybrid, which uses Toro Toro pink mains and Enzo Pro yellow crosses. I think it's a little more connected, a little more controlled than a full bed of Toro Toro, but is still super soft and comfortable. My second suggestion here is going to be Lynx Touch. Interestingly, Lynx Touch is actually not a full polyester. It features what's called a co-extrusion process, which means there's a soft elastic material on the inside and on the outside, there's like a polymer. I don't wanna call it a coating, but it's like a second layer. It's like a corn dog, where the hot dog is the elastic polymer and the corn on the outside is. Um, the more polymer, polyester kind of material. Anyway, so this string offers way more spin than any multi-filament or solid core nylon sin gut that I've ever tried, and the feel is way softer than most, if not all, polyester strings. Durability is definitely going to be worse than every polyester option, but I think a lot of you would agree it's better to break strings than arms. My last suggestion is going to be especially helpful if you're not a big fan of those muted Toro line strings, and that's True Pro Ghost Wire. It's a white, slick, round polyester string that's a great tool to soften up any full bed of poly. So if you've been using something stiffer like Hyper G, Tourna Silver 7 Tour, Lynx Tour, and you want to soften things up, throwing Ghost Wire in the cross is going to add a really nice plushness to your hitting experience, increase snapback a little bit depending on what you had before, 
and it's still going to retain that really nice connected feel, giving you a little bit more free depth and power in the setup. All right, so spin and feel. There are a ton of great strings in this niche. This is personally my favorite string niche spin and feel control as well. I think a lot of us are searching for that alley power, crisper, responsive feel with great ball pocketing. So you really feel in touch with every shot you hit. And we've had great options for years like Tour Byte, Silver 7, Tour Lynx 2. But my opinion, none of those really match Grapple Snake Tour Sniper. And I'll admit, Silver 7 Tour is a really killer budget option. I think you might get a little more spin from Tour Bite. And Lynx Tour is really easy to get more readily available at your average pro shops. But if you can get your hands on Sniper, I think it's the closest in feel to Alu Power, but it's a little bit softer. You get a little bit more ball pocketing and the mild five-sided shape gives you extra bite on the ball without introducing even a hint of launchiness to the setup. This was my string of choice for several years, but there's one thing that's making me consider switching, and that's the promise of better snapback. The tricky thing is though, as we've talked about in this video so far, often with more snapback, you get less feel. And I, I don't know why this is, it's just kind of a pattern I've noticed, but here's my hypothesis. Feel comes from vibration, and the more slippery your strings are, the less friction there is, which is going to be less vibration in the string. So far, I've only really tried two strings that offer high snapback while retaining that crisp connected feel. The first one I ever tried was Grapple Snake Tour M8. And the other that was more recently come out is Restring Sync. And both are easy recommendations for me. They're both like in my top three strings of all time. Between these, Sync definitely gives the most spin. Though because it's round, the ball bite's not the best. So if you like that feeling of gripping the ball with your strings, maybe don't go for that. But still, I notice a nice boost in spin production with a full bed of sync, even compared to like Sniper in the mains and Sync in the crosses. Both Sync and M8 are way more forgiving than Tour Sniper, but I do think Sniper is the most connected and gives you the best feel of the three. The closest mainstream alternative to Sniper in my experience is Tour Bite Soft. Though it's not pre-stretched from factory like Sniper, so tension maintenance isn't gonna be quite as good unless you decide to pre-stretch Tour Bite Soft yourself. And for ultimate spin at all costs, I legit still think zero is king. It's been over a year since since that string's come out and nothing has topped it yet. I even tried using something super sharp, square X sharp in the mains, and I'm still not convinced that gave us better results than a full bed of zero. Zero actually works great if you just want to spin buff with whatever setup you want. Just put zero in the crosses and try whatever main string floats your boat. I've personally tried it with Silver 7 Tour and it felt a lot more connected than a full bed of zero, but still offers way more spin than a full bed of Silver 7 Tour. Same goes with Caviar Mains. You get that nice, plush, elastic hitting feel from Caviar, but a full bed of Caviar, the spin's not great and having zero in the cross just beefs up that spin production immensely. It's like the pure arrowification of any racket. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I do try to help people who have actual questions as best as I can. Let me know if you want to see another like best strings type of video in the future. And if this video was helpful, we deeply appreciate your support and viewership. Purchasing strings through our affiliate links in the descriptions and for Canadians through our storefront really goes a long way into securing the creation of future tennis content just like this. It's definitely safe to say that I wouldn't be able to make weekly videos without those of you who have already made purchases through those links. So thank you so much.